G'day guys, welcome back again. We're doing the green ring pull. Next, okay, so same as before, my pouring medium, three cups flow troll, two cups EVA, one cup pouring medium. And the ratio of pouring medium to paint is one to one. Start with a little bit of black in the bottom there, just covering the bottom. Now these are global paints. Uh, they're quite thick when they come out of their little tubs. Uh, if you're using Liquitex Basics, because this is an Australian brand, so if you're overseas, you, I don't think you can get it. Um, so if you're using Liquitex Basics, I guess it's the next closest thing. They do mix up thicker, so you'll need to mix them two parts pouring medium to one part Liquitex Basics. So I'm just putting in a small amount of white. It's probably half the amount of white going in there now as the light green and the dark green I've got slightly more so I'm going to do a really good dollop of the green the dark green because I find that those two light colors the light green with the white it tends to dull down my center uh, I'll show you the pink one I just did see the pink the pale pink center with the black you don't see very much of that dark pink it's out here, but I don't see very much of it in the center. So I'm adding more of the dark green. And hopefully I can get more dark green in that first ring rather than just on the outside. So that's the theory. Okay, so black again. Good dollop of black. I'm just going to leave enough to do my corners. Because I like the black corners. You don't have to do this. You can tip, you know, you can tilt your ring pour right over the corners if you like. You don't have to do this. I just like having the, the black center and then the matching black corners. And I, I may not keep all four black corners. Sometimes I tilt over one corner or the pink one I tilted over two corners and just kept two black. You don't have to do the same thing. For all of them. I hope my head's not in the shot. I didn't realise my head was in the shot on one of my other paws. Oh no! It's all you want to see is the top of my head. Okay, so I hope it's not. I've got my tripod up on top of the table for the, the last two paws. Hopefully you can get a better picture straight down. All right, now I'm just going to finish off this black. again so half of that light green for that one and half for this one and if you're wondering why I'm doing two cups rather than one it's because I find that doing one big cup or a, a jug you know how you have a pouring jug with a handle and a spout I find that by the time I get down to the bottom after all that spinning around like this the paint that's left in the bottom of the jug has been spun around so many times, it's starting to go muddy. So that's why I've decided to do two smaller cups instead of one big cup or one big jug. So these 30 by 40 centimeter cards, 12 by 16 inch, they take 400 grams of mixed paint. And we'll finish off with our dark green. You don't want to fill your cups so that there's not enough room for you actually to tip the cup over and have control over it when you, you're pouring. If it's too full, you won't be able to, to pour properly. It'll all run down the side of the cup and make a mess. I did that once. Yes, <laughs> I learned the hard way. So learn from my mistakes, don't fill them up too much. Okay, colours, black and white. And then we have, this one's called Green Deep. And this one is called, oh it's a different container. It is called, what is it called? Um, green Light, it's a light green. So that's the difference in the colours there. Dark green, light green. Okay, move one out of the way. 
pinch the section where I layered all my colors in nice and close to the card big rings more like folds and as I said on the last one I'm going to move around a little bit like this so I don't have a big block of green without any color in it and then go back around that way now I've got a big block of black with nothing in it that's okay here comes the other green the light green So feel free to move your cup around, you don't have to hold it in this exact same spot. We'll try and leave it in the centre but you can, you know, move it like this way and then that way. I think it helps just to, see I've got that big black section there, that's so I'm trying to eliminate that by moving my cup around. I'm liking those colours. Now my centre's just gone off a little bit so I'm going to move that up. I may end up tilting all that black off actually because it's, we'll see what it looks like. It might be a bit much. So by moving the cup around helps just try and eliminate that. Same thing there with the big blob of green. I can't get around the table anymore. Back around this way. Just walk my cup around, see if I can eliminate some of that black so that's working I've got less of a black section there now come around again so really there's no right or wrong way to do a ring pull you do whatever you like you can do a wandering ring pull if you want as you're pouring just move your cup up and down have it walk around. Okay, catch your drip. I'm just going to continue that little circle around there like that. Okay, I like those colours. I like all the colours. I think black and white and two colours, it just pops, doesn't it? Just beautiful. Okay, torch to get rid of the air bubbles. it's got glue in it and glue is notorious for bubbles and pitting. Oh, I don't know what's up with my dogs. Can you shut the door? <clears throat> my daughter's here for the weekend. She come up for the weekend after work on Friday and she's brought her dog with her. She's got a cavoodle so she must have just got up and the do my dogs are all excited to see her dog. So yapping away. Um, now let me just put a mark on here where I need to put this back down again so I keep it in frame for you. Okay, so first thing as always I do a big circle to spread the paint in a circle. I don't tend to go down this way first and down that way and then that way and that way. I like to do a circle first but that's just me. That's what I like to do. So round and round. So the paint's got a good momentum. And I keep the weight of the paint going in a big circle. Okay, now the paint's all here at the moment, so I'm going to do that corner first. I don't know if I like that big band of white there, we'll see what it looks like afterwards. too far just yet. I can always stretch again later so I'll just go to the corners. I've got a little green cell right on the very corner. Bring the paint back to, see the weight of the paint's here at the moment? I'll wait till it's about there and then I can go that way. So as I said I'm doing a series of eight of these placemats and <clears throat> once I've done them all and oh, I'll let them cure for a week I guess, let them dry properly and then I'll get them laminated with plastic on the top and the bottom and now they're heat sealed across the edges so I can use them as placemats, you can wipe them if anybody spills anything on them, they can be wiped off. Ok, 
Okay, that corner's done. I actually like this because I didn't pour exactly right in the centre again when I went, because you know how I was moving my cup around like that? I kind of went a bit off centre, so I've got that. I think that's pretty. Especially for green, it looks very leaf-like. It's just made those ribbons open up a lot more. I've got some pretty little white cells there. That's where the air bubbles were. So coming down to this corner next. The weight of the paint is just here at the moment. I actually quite like that white now. So I haven't got much in the middle here, so I'm going to keep that and I'm going to keep that little splash of white against the darker green and black. I think it's refreshing. So I don't want to lose that. So I'll just tip over the side very carefully so that I don't lose my white. My goodness. What was that for? Do you want to get out and say hello to Evie, do you? In a minute. Mummy's busy. Who else calls themselves mummy to their dogs? <laughs> My kids are pretty much all grown up and moved out now. They don't need me. So, my mummy to my dogs, my babies. Okay, off we go to the next corner. Now, I may tip this right over the, the corner there and come up to this little bit of dark green there. We'll see what happens. Or I may even take it right back to this black. Just so that each corner is not so matchy matchy in the same. Let's see what it looks like, hey? If I take it. Because there's a big bar of green here that I don't necessarily want because I've got the big bar of green there. So I might just take that off. Take it right back to this black here. So I've got that black corner. Off you go. Off you go. All right, now back again. As I said, don't have to go matchy-matchy. I think it's more interesting if it's a little bit different. Let's have a look at it. Um, put some more black on here where I've just push that green off. Just make sure I've got a nice black corner there. And I'll just lift that up if I can get under it. There we go. Make sure you don't leave your card on this cookie rack for too long. It'll get stuck and then you'll never get it off once it dries and the glue sticks to the the rack, you'll never get it up, so be careful. All right, so I've got the white band there, which I like. I've got a little bit of white here. I might take this down a bit, see if I can just bring some of this white down a touch. I haven't got a lot of white in it, have I? I know I only used you know, half the amount of white as I did the other colors, and I only put a little bit in here, and you can't really see it. Not really very noticeable, but that's okay. I have a little bit here and we've got some there. Now I'm going to torch it again. Mm, yes, I think I like that. I do have a lot of plain green there, but that's okay. It really pops and I don't want to lose this little bit of light down here so there we go i'll leave it like that happy with that one another one done and dusted getting close to the end now guys if you have an idea of a series of something that you want me to do 
feel free to let me know. A series of something in different colours. I can do them for you. Just some people like to see how these colours work together. All right. I'll take you in for a close up. Looking at it from up here, I would like a little bit more white in it, but oh well, it's done now. I've got the white around the outside. It makes a statement. A little bit of white. Oops, so I can zoom in. I'm going to zoom. I always have trouble with this, trying to zoom it. That'll do. Close enough, hey? Happy with that one again. They're all very similar. Very similar. I've got this technique down pat now, haven't I? Each one looks pretty much identical but different colours. Okay, so off to the brown one next. I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now.